If you guys want to do like vlogging, there's certain different accessories and things that you can get to make your life way, way easier. Me personally, I think that if you're going to be vlogging and like kind of capturing your day, you want to get as many tools and things that can help you to make it as seamless as possible. You don't want to be worried about like changing things and setting shots up and then you miss the shot of yourself. It can make it super, super difficult. So we've built like the ultimate vlogging setup rig and I'm not going to be talking so much about the camera and the lens because I think most cameras these days and lenses are going to be good for vlogging as long as you got yourself a sort of wide lens so that you can get those nice shots of yourself. Other than that, we could make a different video about the best cameras you guys could use for vlogging. It's gonna be all about the add-ons and accessories that you guys can get to make your life easier. One of my favorite things about this setup, and some of you guys might have flip-out screens, that's cool, but the majority of cameras, especially if you guys are filming on Sony cameras and not the like latest ones, you can't see the screen if you're trying to film yourself. And if you are trying to do one of these, you're pretty much just playing a guessing game of like setting your exposure, framing yourself up. You're just hoping that you nail it. This is my favorite thing about this. This is a new little piece of gear from Axoon. It's called the M1. And basically what this allows you to do is turn any mobile phone into a monitor for your camera. You just plug it in and it's done. I put it on this little swivel so if I want to get like a selfie style shot, I can just go boom, that easy, tighten it down. And then I also have this Mantis pod, which I'm going to talk about later, but I can do one of those. And then instantly I can see exactly what I'm shooting of myself. I know what I'm doing. I can frame it up and make sure that my exposure is correct and I can run around and film these like talking to camera shots. So that makes a huge difference. If you guys don't have a camera that actually allows you to have a flip out screen, this is like pretty much the best solution you can get. You've already got a phone and it's going to be far less expensive than buying yourself like a monitor that's going to be a hassle to carry around and everything. So that's the first thing that I highly recommend and it's going to be linked in the top of the description. So go and check it out. One of the reasons that we actually here like at this beautiful beach is because I need to film something super, super ridiculous down on the beach. It's going to be so silly. Uh, it's for a different video, but we're going to show you guys kind of the behind the scenes to that and how we're going to capture it. It's a nice way that we can just kind of like incorporate vlogging a bit into this video and show you what we're actually doing. We can do that a little bit later, but for now, let's skate a bit on this hill and I'll talk to you guys a little bit more about some of the other accessories that are making this vlogging setup the ultimate vlogging setup. Okay, this is like one of my favorite roads to film like little skate scenes on because it's the craziest view in the background like this whole scene with a super cool road that goes down here makes it really really fun for filming like just a whole skate scene cinematic thing so even like right now while i'm going around i can adjust this nd filter changing angles from there to there makes it so helpful usually i'm just like shooting blind on my a7 III. i have no idea what my focus or framing or anything is doing so having the option of seeing it like this is amazing it makes such a difference One of the most amazing things about the Axoon M1 is it doesn't just turn your mobile phone into a monitor that you can see whatever video that you guys are filming, it turns it into a full on professional monitor with professional features. You can add LUTs into it now and you can see what your final footage is gonna look like as well as things like a histogram, false color, peaking and a bunch of other like features that you only find in really high-end professional monitors. So it completely transforms your regular cell phone into like a crazy monitor, which is pretty insane. So the idea is that we're gonna head down to the beach. We got an umbrella, a beach chair, and we're gonna be kind of making like a joke about how 
travel influencers only edit in like crazy places you know i'm going to be sitting in the chair like editing on my laptop and then that's going to be used for a different video for the intro scene for that which you guys will also see but we thought it'd be interesting to show you guys the behind the scenes for it so we're going to head down to that beach over there and i'm even going to make myself a little drink it's completely ridiculous which is actually the point but it's going to be funny to shoot so let's go shoot it <laughs> way too windy to like set up the umbrella it's definitely gonna get just completely blown away it's like sandstorming over here we've come to a different beach a way more sheltered one so we can set up our ridiculous little scene over here I'm gonna get the umbrella out get the beach chair out and then pour myself a drink and start doing some work on the beach <laughs> This is the perfect little setup. And I'm gonna be sitting here, working on my laptop. You guys are gonna have to wait for the actual video to see what it's actually for. Okay, the next thing in our vlogging rig that I actually want to speak to you guys about is this little hand grip. It's from PGY Tech and it's called a Mantis Pod. In my opinion, this is like the best little mini vlogging tripod. If you've seen those like bendy ones, they are cool, but they tend to just move. They get super weak after like uh, not very long of using them, like a month or two. This one like is straight in selfie mode like that and you can very easily just pop out the back for it to be a tripod that you can like put down or something and it has a lot of other cool features as well. If you wanted to change the angle of this you can just hold in that button and move it however you want. The whole thing about the Mantis Pod is that it's super easy to just like change it around and do what you want. It also has a ball head in it so you can literally just release that and then change your angle however you want it to like if you had it in tripod mode for example there's also a really nice quick release system to get your camera off of it very quickly if you want to do something without the mantis pod on the bottom so i think out of all of the little vlogging tripods that you guys can get this one from pgy tech is absolutely the best one so you can check that out in the description as well if you guys want to find out more or just like get an idea of if it's going to work for you guys but yeah love the pgy tech Mantis pod. So this is the setup we're going for. We've got our little beach chill. Got this laptop that I'm going to be working on. Oh. And I even made myself a little drink. So now we're going to shoot the clips that we need for the other video. <laughs> So there's a couple of other essential things that you need for vlogging, like a microphone. I personally use a Rode Video Micro, but you can pretty much use any microphone. They're all fairly decent these days. If you want to find out anything more about the Mantis Pod from PGY Tech, or this awesome little device, the M1 from Axoon, so that you can turn any mobile phone into a professional monitor with all features, I'm going to leave those two things in the top of the description. Other than that, I have some editing to do. So I will see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye.